Alright, hey guys, what is up? <clears throat> so I'm going to make a uh, quick tutorial, and this is for all my uh, friends who are new to the game, that are showing interest in playing, which is awesome because I love this game. Um, but I know the struggle of being the new guy that has no clue, they're just kind of flailing around and just derping it up, and, uh, and you don't really understand why you suck, so I'm going to explain why you suck and how you can fix it. So, um... Yeah, let's just get into it, man. Uh, let me just let me actually just restart this mission. So let's uh, let's talk um, let's talk macro. So it's the it's how you spend money effectively in this game, and that is the entire reason why everyone is terrible as a, as a new player is because you're not spending your money. What you want to do in in games is you always want to be making workers, and you always want to keep your money low, and you always want to not get supply supply uh, supply blocked. And supply blocked is when this number uh, is like let's, if that number was ten out of ten, it means you can't make any more units. So yeah, that's bad because then you can't make anything more, and then your money piles up, and uh, yeah, it's a big mess. So you don't want to do that. <clears throat> Sorry, kind of got the burps. Um, so. How do we avoid that? How do we play quickly? Um, here's how we do it. So first we're going to talk about is hotkeys. Hotkeys are, are a way for you to select a building without using your mouse to manually click on it. So and it, it, so what's nice about it is let's, let's pretend, you know, let's pretend I'm, you know, doing something with this SCV. I'm way down here, right? And I want to make I want to be able to make workers. I want. To, I need to make uh, workers right now, right? If I if I didn't have hotkeys, what would I have to do? I'd have to like either like you know fucking do that, or I'd have to click on the mini map and then you know click on. It's just too much work. It's ridiculous. Um, so how do we you know circumvent that? Is we um, select the building, hold control, and press a number. Uh, it's really up to preference, but um, one way you can you know kind of you know. You know, find a way to choose that's what's right for you is um, we're not going to be using the mouse to click on the buttons here. So, but if we look here, uh, S is in yellow, and that means that you can use the the S on the keyboard to make the worker. Um, and this this is for every production building, every upgrade. You, there's a there's a button on the keyboard that does it, and it's it'll be to your betterment to remember what all of them are. And it just takes some practice. Uh, usually it makes sense though, like S for SCV, M for Marine, T for Tank, uh, you know, yeah, all that stuff. It's 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 pretty self-explanatory. Um, but yeah, so we want to go for convenience. So, so for me, one and S are pretty close together. Uh, you know, one is the number one. It's the first number. I don't know. It's the start of the game. Whatever. It just it just makes sense to me for one to be it. So, um, yeah. So let's uh, let's pretend I'm doing something here, and then I press one. Look at that. Look at that. My command center selected. I can jump between things, and uh, that's super important. Uh, another thing to note too is if you double click the uh, the number, like I press it twice, it jumps back to it. Pretty handy. Um, so one other thing I want to talk about, but that's hockey's hockey's. That that's it. There's really nothing more to it. Um, we could talk about camera hotkeys, but I'm, I, it's not really, you know, yeah, let's, let's talk, let's get out of the way. It's not that important. I mean, it is important, but it's not, you know, detrimental right now, but I'm going to show it to you anyways. Uh, there's three camera keys, and it's, so let's pretend you have a bunch of barracks, right? And you need, and you just need to, like, jump to them. Uh, what you can do is you can hold shift, and you can press either F4, F3, or F2. You have three camera keys, so let's say... Let's say I want to look at this spot, right? So I hold shift and I press, I'm going to say F4, right? So let's say I'm looking at my uh, my command center and I want to jump to that spot I was looking at. I can just press F4 and it jumps to that immediately. You don't need a building selected. It's just memorizing uh, the spot on the map. And that's it. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. You can, you can do it anywhere, man. You can just, you know, hockey there, hockey over here. And then you can, you can just jump all over the place, you know? That's... Uh, pretty nifty <clears throat> but that, that's it that's it for hotkeys okay that I don't want that that's it we're done okay all right uh, one other thing is um, <clears throat> shift clicking 
So this is really important, especially if you play Terran. Um, when you make a building, or actually, let, let's 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 back up a little bit. <clears throat> um, shift clicking allows you to do multiple actions uh, in advance. You can, um, so I can give like I can give this SV an order, okay, and then I can you know I can I can do it like that. But let's say I want to um, say I want him to do something and then something else, and I. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just giving orders in advance. So let's say I want to move him here, and then I want him to move back, right? So let's uh, let's do that. Ready? So we're gonna move this way. Hold Shift and right click. Now I'm not doing anything, and all by himself he moves back. You know that kind of, that's kind of nifty. So I can make him do all sorts of stuff. Bam, 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 bam. He just he's he's gonna go all over the place because I told him to do it. So how is this useful? I mean, like the most you know the most directly beneficial way to use this, and it's super important, especially with Terran, as I said, is to, is when you make a building. So check it out. Uh, I'm going to make a supply depot, and then I'm going to shift, right click, back on minerals. And as soon as he's done making that supply depot, he's going to uh, return to mine minerals. So let me just, just uh, I'll put in the cheat code to make it go quickly, and uh, check it out. Ready? And, he, and all by himself, he goes back to mine, which is pretty cool. Um, one other thing I was going to mention. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, now, he won't be able to take shift commands while he's making the building. So, you have to do it before he starts building it. So, you got to be quick, especially if you're building really close by, you know? Uh, one trick you could do is, let's say, you can actually camera hotkey over here. Now, I don't know if this isn't, like, you don't have to do this. Uh, this this worked a lot more uh, in StarCraft, uh, StarCraft 2. Oh, I'm being attacked. But uh, you could go B, S, F4, then right click. It's really quick. You got that as an option. Just throwing it out there. But yeah. Um, shift clicking, hotkeys, and that's it for like basic uh, mechanical stuff. Let's move on to how to actually macro. You know, so let's, let's do that. All right, here we go. So at the start of the game, start of the game, you make SCV, make the SCV first, and then you send to mine. Um, there's also one other thing, is when you go to mine, you typically want want your workers on separate mineral patches, and there's this thing called worker splitting, was when you send them send them to mine, you send them to mine, but then you want to like, kind of like individually kind of go, uh, you go there, you go there, you go there, you go there, it's, it's kind of difficult, it is difficult, uh, and it takes practice, I suck at it, and I'm not going to pretend like I'm good. But I'm going to attempt it anyways. As long as your heart's in the right place, that's all that matters, right? So, here we go. Making the worker. Oh my god, I... That, Jesus, holy god, that was awful. What? <laughs> oh. I'm trying to do it. I've been watching, like, Twitch streamers do it. And they'll, like, just individually do it. And that's... They're, they're really quick. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not that cool. I, not yet. God, that was bad. Holy shit. Okay. But here we go. We're looking at our money. This is what our eyes are on right now. We're looking at money. We're looking at how far our SVs are, uh, are across. All right. That's done. We're ready to make mine again. We're looking at our money. What is our money at? Close to 50? Okay. We're going we're gonna to queue. Now, typically, queuing is bad. You only usually want to make one unit at a time. You usually want to stick to that philosophy. But uh, in this case, it doesn't really matter because, you know, it's just there's nothing else to build. So right now, we're going to be making a supply depot, because our money is getting up there. And we're going to be supply blocked pretty soon, so we gotta, we got to book. Shift click back on minerals. And there we go, pretty nifty. And here we go. Now that guy, was, he got caught off a little bit in those workers, so this might actually be a little bit late. He will be a little bit late. We'll be, we'll be supply blocked for a moment, but it is not the end of the world. Um, that was the correct time to build your supply depot, so don't worry. Um, another thing too, I, I shift clicked back on minerals there, but you actually didn't need to do that because only in this instance, because that same worker is going to be, is going to be making our barracks as well. Notice how our money is almost at 150, so that's why. All right, so now we're going to hockey our barracks again. It's whatever preference uh, suits you. Always making SCVs. Go, 
Our money is getting high again. Um, we could actually consider making a, uh, whoops, another barracks, which we will. Oh, he got in the way. So there we go. Spending money. Like a boss. Um, our, our supply is getting high. We're going to be making another, another supply depot right about, uh, right about now. Shift look, shift look back on minerals. Check our uh, SCV. How's that going? Barracks is almost done. The benchmark for this exercise, at five minutes, we're going to have 20 Marines. That's what we want. Uh, with with, I'm not sure if that's like the perfect of perfect, but it's pretty damn close to perfect. So that's what we're going to shoot for. All right, so here we go. One other thing to note. <laughs> um, rally points. You can't set a rally point on a building that, that is still being built. You can only set rally points um, when it's when it's a, you know completed. Okay, just 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 wanted to note that in StarCraft Two, it, what that was op, that wasn't true. You could set rally points while they were being built. Not the case. This, not the case in this game. Our money's gonna be high again. We can actually consider making a third barracks, which we shall. I didn't uh, return him to work, or to, uh, didn't return that mineral. That was kind of a boo-boo on uh, my part. Yeah, you don't do, don't do that. All right, don't, don't be me. Don't be stupid. Money's very low. We're making sure not to fuck that up. We need another uh, supply depot right about now, or at least in the very, very near future, because we are going to be supply blocked very soon. Oops. I actually have an idle worker there, and that's for me missing the um, the uh, the shift click. That's why. That's why it's so important, you know. Both of those missed the shift click, so don't don't be me. Be uh be better than that, you know. In my defense, I play Protoss. <laughs> All right. We're gonna check the time. We're at 4:30. Will we make it? I don't know. This guy could probably just keep making S2 supply depots, huh? Oh, we actually know we're not supply blocked. Okay, 10 seconds left. And so that's actually it. We're actually we made it. So, so I'm actually I'm actually gonna stop macroing. Notice though the money was always low. We never got supply blocked for you know the, the moments that it happened were expected, and everything was fine. But that's macro, guys. That's macro in a nutshell. I mean that's just you spending money. And the, and the important thing here is always make those workers. Always make those workers. Now, this is just me doing an exercise on one base. And this, this is obviously super oversaturated, but it's not really important that it's oversaturated. Uh, the important thing is just getting in the habit of making workers. Typically, um, like you, you could get away with having one worker per patch, and, and that'd be good. But, it'll, but if you have this many workers, uh, you need a lot of bases. So, um, but that being said, if you have a shit ton of workers on one base, you're not, you're, you're still getting more money. It's just they'd be they'd be more effective working on their own patches, you know? So that's why expanding is really, really good in this game. Um, well, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's do the tally. Let's see where we're at. Um, we're at five minutes. So I'm actually, going, I'm actually going to stop all production on these on these guys. 
Well, let's see what we're at. Am I at 20? Because that was the goal. Hmm. A little bit off. A little bit off. I did this earlier and I got to 20 and that was the benchmark, but... Um, that being said, those guys were almost done. It was so close. So I was off by like a second, whatever, sue me. Um, but yeah. There we go. That's, that's how it works, guys. And, uh... So, like, eventually when you get really comfy with this, you can start doing other things. You can start saying, okay, I'll try to make only, uh, vultures this game. Or I'll try to make only wraiths. Just, you just pick a unit and just kind of practice making those units. You can even do this with just, just SEVs. You can, like, make a shit ton of command centers. And that's actually a good, I like doing that one a lot, actually, because you get a lot more income. Because you're making only workers. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty fun. Um... But yeah, once you start getting really comfy doing these type of types of exercises, then you can start doing actual strategy because then you could like decide how you want to spend your money instead of being in this frantic pan panic of ah I need to do things. No, you're 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 gonna be better than that, you know. Um, let's see, was there anything else I was going to mention? Um, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, one other thing. So if you get if you get good at this, if you get good at this, uh, you can actually up the ante if you uh, so choose. Uh, this, is, this is something I used to do in StarCraft 2, and I'm, I'm probably going to start doing it in this game, too. Is um, Now, again, my money's going high because I stopped macroing, but, like... Anyways, um, so the idea is, like, you're... You have an army. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crash course and micro. I don't think it's going to matter, though. I stopped. I stopped. <laughs> yeah, zealots wreck bio units. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> what I was going to say, though, was that uh, while you're moving your units on the map, you quickly switch between uh, making stuff back at home. So, like, you're actively moving your army while also macroing like we just did. So you're jumping between your army hotkeys to your production facility hotkeys. So you're always making stuff, not getting supply blocked, while constantly making your army uh, be mobile. And uh, if you can do that, then, man, you're, you're really on your way. You're really on your way. And that's the... You know, that's, that's what I want to do, too. So, anyways, I hope this was helpful. And, uh... I hope the, uh, what you, what you got out of this was make workers. Don't get supply blocked. And, um... Yeah, spend your money. If you have a production facility, make sure it's always making something. That's kind of like the rule of thumb. So... Yeah, hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, I'm, uh, always willing to answer. So, uh, feel free. Um, but yeah, that's it. Alright, thank you very much. Uh, take care. Peace.